Okay, for this example, we want to once again find the inverse Laplace transform involving a heavy side function. And this time around, we will notice that our C number is equal to pi. So that's going to show up in our inverse right here. And we'll notice that our f of t is actually a little bit more complicated than usual. We'll notice that it has an exponential shift as well. And it's also a sine function because it's a constant over the sum of two squares. So this is kind of like a worst case scenario for an inverse. It involves two different kinds of shifting and a function that is a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead now and actually take the inverse. So that inverse is little y of t. And again, we're always going to have our heavy side, h t minus pi. Now that minus 3 is going to have an exponential shift. So that's going to create an e to the negative 3. And then we're going to normally have a t there. But again, because we have our heavy side, it's going to be t minus pi. And then you will notice that we really can't take the inverse of this right now because, actually we can because there's a two and a four. I changed the problem from the slide. I'll have to change that back again. So we actually can't take the inverse right away because that is a two over a two squared over there. So that is gonna be the sine of, and again, it'd be normally two t, but it's gonna be two times t minus pi. And again, you will notice that every single one of the t's in this inverse has a t minus pi in its place. We have to always consistently shift that function. And now if we want to go ahead and express this as a piecewise defined function, our y of t will once again have it equal to 0 if our t values are less than pi. And then remember, heavy side takes on a value of 1, so it's going to be e to the negative 3 times t minus pi, and then the sine of 2t minus 2 pi, and that's for t's greater than or equal to pi. And you will notice we can actually simplify this by getting rid of that minus 2t there because the sine is 2 pi periodic. So we can actually simplify that down even further as y of t is equal to 0 if t is less than pi, or e to the negative 3, t minus pi times the sine of just 2t for t greater than or equal to pi.